Hey guys, in today's video, I'm bringing something to you that is completely new to me, but apparently it's been in the industry for a while and it's a steel line set. I was contacted, full disclosure, by Duraline about this product and asked if I'd be willing to try it out and share my experience with you. And I was like, sure, let's see what it can do. Okay, this is a steel line set that has a zinc coating and I think sometimes they have a painting on the outside. You can solder it. They're recommending 45%. You can flare it. You can press it. In fact, when you press it, it's stiffer and helps to make a better joint. And when you're using like a tubing bender on three quarter or seven eighths, because it is stiffer, the ripples in it look different. Um, I haven't tried that yet but I was willing to try it and see what I can do with it. So this is my first experience with this line set. And so far, just from what I've been doing, that is installing it. I hadn't had to pull a vacuum or nothing like that. I kind of like the way it handles. So enough of that. Let's jump into it. Here we go. And I'll show you what it looks like. You can braze on this with like 45% silver, copper to steel. And they want you to cover it with a shrink wrap if you heat it up and braze on it or if you sand on it because it is steel. But we intend to just be pressing or flaring. So that's what we're using. I'm gonna show you, that's one line set. This is a system I've been working on for some time and we decided to opt for longer line sets. This is one. Goes through here. It's gonna go in that track and it's gonna go right there. I had to make a repair on that one because I kinked the line. Um, we're getting ready to pull the second line set which goes to that one right there. And then the third one, that line set's gonna go through the wall into that room and then out the hole. We're gonna go ahead and get the line sets pulled and then start to form them into the corners the way we want. I have my line sets color coded. Yellow is gonna be for this one. As you see, all I have to do is flare these. Maybe rob the flare nuts off that other line set, flare these. Now I've got to get this and this to fit in that corner over there. Did I mess you up over there? about that nice flare I got <clears throat> now log on that
so y'all can see. Still makes a very good flare. Put that in my pocket. Every time I think I got it, I don't. I know it. I ain't got no more. All right, I gotta come back and torque those. But they're connected. Yeah. I gotta find me some. Say see this one last year.
All right, I'm gonna terminate this cable. And we're gonna come back and torque these. problem we're having with this line set cover is cheap it doesn't snap into place like it's supposed to and we're having to use zip ties and I ran out of zip ties I gotta worry about my drain the hole in the drain I think in a couple of these it may be a little bit too high it needs to be on the bottom I'm just gonna have to knock out some drywall I know y'all saw I got that running today I know y'all seen us do this before, but we're doing it now with the steel line sets. And you see how here how they connect. And hopefully I had a I had to use a press tool right here because I had kinked this and I cut out the kink and I pressed in a quarter inch or what I was told was a quarter inch. It just didn't it didn't look like it was the same width. I pressed it anyway. We're going to try it and see. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. I've got a piece of it here that I'm going to try to braze on with something that's not 45% and see how it turns out. See how easy it is. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.